Many console owners will simply enjoy the benefits of using all of the DAW automation tools to automate the analog signal path of their console. Others may wish to use some of the classic automation tools such as Join and Revise found within the Duality and AWS onboard console automation system. Let's take a look at some of those features. We have a session set up on the console. I'm ready to do some automation on the vocal, and when I create the plugin, I want it to assume the position I've already set on the console. To do this, I press New Mix before pressing Enable. You'll now see the automation level display appear for groups, VCAs, mix buses, and channels on the console. Next, I'll insert an instance of Delta Control into the session and set it to the vocal channel. I'll open the analog level automation lane for this plugin in the DAW. As you can see, the underlying lane of data gets updated as I move the fader. Now we're ready to automate. With Duality and AWS, the intended workflow with Delta Control is to set your DAW's automation mode to touch. In this mode, you can conveniently switch between latching and non-latching snap modes from the front panel. Let's navigate to the first verse of the song and press play. As you can see, I am in snap mode, with the ramp time determined by the DAW's preferences, just as with any regular plugins automation. However, at any moment, I can decide to go into latch by simply pressing the fader status button. This unique and rather useful SSL feature is called Snap Override, and is shown by the red flashing light next to the fader. As I get to the chorus, I've decided on the optimum position for the vocal. A handy feature is the ability to use the control plus shift plus return to zero buttons to write this level throughout the song. Write to beginning only can be achieved by pressing control plus return to zero, and write to end only can be achieved by pressing control plus end. Often you will want to write more than one channel of automation at a time. Delta Control has been designed with this in mind, and even has the ability to conveniently arm tracks for writing automation before pressing play, another classic console automation method. For example, I've decided that in the chorus of this song, I want to raise the level of the snare and the snare effects channels. I want to be in latch mode, and I can globally switch this on by disabling snap. Next, I'll locate to the first chorus of the song. I'll put the channels into write by pressing the fader status buttons. The snare and snare effects channels are linked, so I need only press one, and then play. The automation goes into write, and I adjust the levels as I hear them. By the end of the chorus, I have the levels where I want them. This would be the perfect time to make use of another classic console feature, join. Join allows you to punch in at the level where you last stopped playback. So anytime you stop the DAW, you can locate backwards or forwards and punch in at the set level by pressing join. The DAW now starts writing at the set level when I press play. I can wait for it to play through or just jump to the end of the chorus and the automation will be written. Within the DAW, I can easily paste this information across to the other chorus of the song. Experimentation and making mistakes is an essential part of the creative process. Because Delta Control uses the DAW's automation, you always have undo. But with Duality and AWS, Delta Control offers an alternative way of correcting mistakes that's long been used in traditional SSL workflows. It's called Revise. Here's an example. During the verse, I'm riding the automation to bring out certain guitar lines. With the second one, I go a bit too far, but I like what I did up until that point. Using Revise, I can simply locate to before the mistake was made and press Revise at the desired point at which I want the faders to return to right, thus allowing me to correct the mistake. Revise is the best way to return multiple faders back into right at once. Once I'm happy with the new automation, I can press All Replay and any faders currently writing automation are returned to read. Often, it is necessary to automate large groups of faders, drums for instance, a process best achieved by using the console's group faders. This works in exactly the same way as with ordinary channels. Simply create a new plugin and choose group instead of channel. Again, this can be positioned anywhere in the DAW session. Delta Control uses a true VCA style of group automation, 
With VCA style grouping, the level of the faders assigned to that group are summed with the position of the group fader itself to give the overall dB level for that channel. For example, whilst I fade the drums out, I can catch the kick drum and stop it fading out as quickly. It respects the VCA level. The console's mix buses can also be controlled by choosing bus in the plugin. A trick used by many mix engineers is to raise the main mix fader half a dB or even a full dB during the choruses to give an extra lift to the song. Delta Control also brings its own trim mode, perfect for raising an entire vocal track with complex rides by 1 dB, for example. This is selectable from the console on a per channel basis or globally using the Trim Prime plus All buttons. When a channel is set to trim, the fader status light on the console flashes green. The plug-in fader turns gold and automatically renulls at 0 dB. A separate lane of trim automation is stored in the DAW, and this can be edited just like with absolute fader level. On playback, the absolute and trim values are combined to give the overall dB level to the fader. For a truly old school approach, Delta Control offers a motors off mode. Some mix engineers prefer not to be chasing a moving target and disable the moving faders approach that DAWs have made commonplace. In this mode, the faders on the console do not move whilst playing back automation data, but the automation level displays and automation lane data show what is happening. Another feature in the SSL menu is TouchRight. TouchRight emulates the legacy immediate pickup option found in the SSL G Series mix computer. That concludes our video. We hope you have enjoyed watching. Delta Control really is the finest hybrid DAW and console automation system ever created. We hope it helped you get the best results from your SSL analog mix engine. For more information and to purchase Delta Control for your console or Sigma, please visit solidstatelogic.com.